Hello everybody, this is Grace on a Journey, and you are listening to Angelic Healing Express. This is a safe place offering a warm welcome to family. God is inviting you to trust His divine plan. God and the angels are grateful for the care that you're giving yourself at this time. Now for a short word of prayer. Negativity that attempts to invade the sacred space. I banish you with the light of my grace. You have no hold or power over here. For I stand with no fear. Confirmation. Any person, place, or thing that refuses to flee as I demand to be free will be under my dominion. Be gone. This is a sacred place and you must obey. Now for my declaration. I do not need permission to be who I was called to be. I was born to be free. I was born to be powerful. And today I accept it. I aim to remain open-minded and expand my soul to know God and my angelic teams on a heart level. A sincere welcome to the newcomers and my fellow travelers. Extending love, light, hope, and a plethora of new incoming memories in balance and truth. You are appreciated. You are cherished. You are loved. Thank you for your support and kindness. God made us family. We need one another. We love one another. We forgive one another. Together we learn God's word. Together we grow in truth. Together we love all people. Together we serve our God. These are hopes. God, please help us obtain them. Amen. If I didn't define myself for myself, people would miss the opportunity of witnessing prophecy in the making and a new day awakening. Fulfilling my soul contract includes teaching others that humanity meets you at the depth that you know yourself in love. The route to manifestation and arriving at your highest potential is birthed at the 
the depth that we heal ourselves. Now for our protection prayer. I dwell in the bright divine light. All goodness is attracted to me. All for my highest good. I am attuned with divine love and divine goodness. I give thanks. So, friends, family, I have a mouthful today. And to be quite honest with you, I've had a mouthful for a while. But wisdom led me to meditate on when I would connect with you, how I would connect with you, and what I would share with you. So although I felt an urge to impulsively share certain findings, I let God lead. A lot has been brought to my attention and A lot is being processed. And there's even some information that could be of great use. But as you know better, We should do better, right? So as much as it would be beneficial to share certain findings, today, unlike yesterday, I consult and reconsult with my spiritual support team and get advised as to what will be. the next right step for me to take. You see, I used to have an issue of wanting to help even when it led to my detriment. But I've learned my lessons today. And I'm backing myself out of the way. I've learned that there are times when P 
people are enduring circumstances due to the karma that they have accrued into their lives. And it is not my business to intervene with their judgment. In fact, it doesn't please God. When I went into further meditation, I was told to not intervene. And I understood that message because I have been contacted more than once from different teams that were once united to come against me, to eliminate me. And now they want to touch base with me and share their side of the story. But did you know this? Did you know this? I know you know a lot of what's going on, but you may not have known this. There is an energy of tattletale. And I heard a confirmation outside. But it was a slamming of a door, a car door. So that's telling me Well, that's confirming what God told me, which is to not entertain any of that. Because what they want to do is mask themselves in a manner where they are for you in order for them to get invited into your vehicle. But that was not the judgment that was called. Detach from people, places, things, and energies that are not in alignment with your highest good. So although you have your side of the story and his side of the story and her side of the story and their side of the story, my side of the story is that's not the objective here. The objective is What God decreed. The judgment that was made. The prophecy. That was shared. Everything that was taken away. Stolen away. Scammed away. Fraudulently obtained the way. Must. Be returned. Now the funny thing is. Some of you will be sharing this sentiment that I'm about to share 
which is there will be portions of what was taken away that is coming your way that you no longer desire. You see, certain things you are in agreement with. And they can serve a purpose that benefits not only you but everyone else too. But then there are other things that hold no value besides regression. And that is not the direction or energy that you want to be in. I'm hearing so although the separations because there are separations some hidden And some public. Some in pretense. Where. Quote unquote. Couples. Are only online couples. But are not real life couples. Because it didn't work out. Because it didn't start on a good foundation. Because it was based on a lie. And as much as you see it. The collective season, as much as you know it, the collective knows it. Because this is not only being revealed during exercises of divination, this is also being revealed. By ways of your other gifts. Let's put it that way. And so if you are in the know. You already are in the know. Majority of you. Are also in the awareness of. What karma's are being served and who is in the energy of receiving karma and those in the energy of receiving dharma right I can only speak for myself when I say that I am being called to allow the people that participated in the attack of me unjustly to settle themselves out.
I am not being called to intervene into the defense of anybody. Furthermore, those of you that want to access me because, as I said, efforts were made. Those of you that have made efforts to access me I'm going to make this clear. I don't owe you anything. And I know the only reason that you're trying to connect with me is because you have been told repeatedly from those that you are seeking help that until you apologize you will never have any peace your apology in waiting is to benefit yourself not me whether you apologize or not I already have my peace. Okay? This was all prophesied. That every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Am I telling you not to apologize? That is not my jurisdiction. What I'm telling you is you will respect my boundaries. Which were stated prior Which was until I receive what is mine, not what is charity, because that's another lie of the enemy. That is being used by the wannabes. She's looking for a handout. But it already has my name on it. Therefore, it's not a handout. The truth may be foreign. But I'm helping you to get familiar. Not requesting any handouts. I am demanding what I've already stated. By way of prayer requests. I will never. Ask my enemies. Ask those that stole from me. Ask those that lied from me. Ask those that. Wanted to kill me. For any type of assistance. That day will never come. In fact, it's already written in stone. That day will 
never come. What is mine is already mine. And the time that you think you're taking away from me is just time that you're taking away. from yourself and those attached to you. Whether I arrive at what I inherited today or tomorrow my bills will still get paid my protection will still be on overload my gifts will still excel my soul Purpose is already active. There's no loophole. No loophole that permits you to have victory over God or myself. That's why I am enjoying my peace. That's why I know you have no choice. I, I want to make it clear for those of you who are still lying to yourselves. Right? Right? No matter if you want to, you don't want to, you don't think it's fair, you don't like it, you don't think I deserve it, guess what, you have to, I, let, I'm saying this with a big smile on my face because I already said it. Remember? I already relayed the message. But you wanted to believe you could box with God. You wanted to believe that you're in charge. That God has to check with you. That God needs your approval. So I'm going to say it again. You must bow down to God. You must confess your sins. Right? And like you've heard, until you do right by me, you will continue to experience Being in a season of limbo, if you're curious, 
Why is she in a state where she can be so patient? You haven't comprehended that one yet? I'm already being cared for. I'm already not lacking anything. I'm already untouchable by any of your dark forces or manipulations, scandals, defamations of character. I'm already me, all of me. What awaits me is more and more and more of divine favor. Because I'm already in God's favor. But more and more and more of divine favor. I had to break it down for you because a lot of you who are still in opposition are confused now as far as what I am allowed to share with you regarding the revelations that I've received there is A magnified spirit of confusion that has returned to sender. You attack the wrong person with the spirit of confusion because when you are called to be a messenger or any label or title that God anoints you with. Confusion is automatically canceled out because you need to be in the spirit of clarity. And so because efforts were made to send confusion in my direction it was repelled and returned to senders plural and those in connection to the lowest of vibrations. So, what this means is that not only will you experience unfriendly fire in your groups, where you turn against each other, where you expose each other, where you report each other, but you will also experience spiritual warfare. Where you are experiencing the effects 
of low vibrational magic and not knowing <laughs> sorry I'm trying to keep a straight face not knowing what direction it's coming from because you don't know if it's the leader you don't know if it's the other person that knows you did this spell you don't know if it's like you will all be in confusion like no one will know who sent this to me why am I enduring this why because I want to make it clear it's not all back to sender because I see you attacking each other I see you blocking each other it was all prophesied I just see it now again and again and again and I'm trying to say this with a serious face but there is a sense of comedy associated to it because how do you even fight in a war that you don't know who's attacking who because group members are attacking group members Because group members are blocking group members. Financially, romantically. Even in areas of fertility. It's sad for you. And although I've considered myself to be a problem solver for most of my life, If I was in your predicament, it would be difficult to unravel the solution. For such circumstances. Because my first. Thought. Would be. Let me go to God. Confirmation. But how do you say. Let me go to God when. You excluded God. You denied God. You rejected God. You mocked God. You belittled God. You insulted God. How do you go to the enemy or the demons that you worship
when they allowed you to walk paths towards this trickster energy enabling you to be in this reality confirmation what do you do What do you do when you are being told that you need to apologize and you're in the awareness of you're being mirrored? So the delays that you amplify are the delays that you live by. And so until what is returned is returned, you're stuck. Remember the rules. As above, so below. So until your efforts in the area of spiritual retraction of all of the attacks amplified with the confusion of what was done behind your back because there was an oath that you're all tied to. So whether it was her or him who committed the crime, you're tied to the oath. And so whether it was you who decided It's time to walk away. I no longer want to participate. But someone else wants to continue that's your time as well. Because you binded yourselves to this oath. Because you wanted to bind yourself to this treasure that you will never receive. Never. One being, 
God does not want me to collaborate. With you. Because the mission that I am on, I have to remain in my truth. I can't be owned. God is my only master. And he made it clear to me, there will be no compromise, no negotiations. Oh, we'll give you what we stole from you if you sign up to this opportunity. We just want to make peace. The answer is still no. There will be no type of collaboration. No type of reconciliation. No type of hesitation. I am so low in regards to Who I follow regarding chain of command. I don't need no middleman. It comes from God. If you were really in the awareness of how to move, you would not even be in the predicaments that you're in. If you were really in your power, you would not need me to plug in. That's the reality of the matter. It doesn't benefit me in any way. And also, I was told that one of the reasons why they want to come in pretense as far as let me talk this over, let me confess is because Opportunities to trigger you. Opportunities to lower your vibration. Uh, No, not today. Not at all. Not available for that. Not available for half apologies for the shade that you are contemplating for any of those games. I left you on the playground. Because I got promoted. Confirmation out of nowhere. Confirmation. I said I left you on the playground because I got promoted and you heard the confirmation.
So we're not going to play any games. Oh, we want to just sit down with you and explain it was a misunderstanding and what really the matter was. It was his fault. It was her fault. It was this. It was that. And interjecting the shade. Interjecting the sarcasm. Interjecting the games. No. I'm not available for any of that. And the best part is... I don't ever have to entertain that. I don't owe you an opportunity to say, I'm sorry. I don't owe any one of you that. Won't that make things interesting? See, my steps are guided. So until I'm guided, we're not moving. In fact, it's your move to return everything that was stolen. So it's not me avoiding your phone calls. It's not me not responding to your email. It's not me not entertaining your games. It's you that continues to pass until you pass. God's judgment does not require my efforts. In fact, life is pretty pretty good right now. No complaints. believe I'm saying this but there's not even fight in my energy because it's not my battle it's the Lord's Peace is what I give. Peace is what I receive. I'm looking forward to reconnecting with you again because I have something beautiful to share but until that time meditate
on the next right thing to do. Because that's the only thing that will see you through. Peace.